know, it's nice to light up your home with Christmas lights, but when you're lighting up the whole neighborhood, you may have gone a little far. Tonight, we go behind the scenes of the great Christmas light fight. Here's ABC's David Wright. Tis the season when even a divided nation can still get carried away. The hopes and fears of all the year overwhelmed by a flurry of lights. I'm always thinking how to make it bigger, brighter, better. Wow. <laughs> you go all out. I go all out. Front I go yard, all out. backyard, side ev yard. Ev everything. Every square inch of building is, is covered. There you go. 17 days till Christmas. Here in Stamford, Connecticut, Santa's little helper is Tony Pampina, a.k.a. Tony Christmas. How do you like it? Thank you very much. So. Now this year, we're heading into a holiday season with the nation kind of divided. Do you think Christmas lights can bring it back together? I think Christmas lights makes uh, people a lot more happier and more festive, and that's my goal. If you leave here and you don't have a smile on your face, then you can't be helped. <laughs> In red states and blue states, plenty of people feel the same way. According to Carter Osterhaus, they're perfectly nice and straight. Host of ABC's seasonal reality show, The Great Christmas Light Fight. It's definitely been a crazy year with the election going on. People decorate and people come together because they want to see these lights and they want to share in that magic of Christmas. Just ask YouTube. From the house in Chaska, Minnesota, that kicks off its big display with a Star Wars theme, to the Preston's family home in Kingman, Arizona, where they designed their display with drones in mind. And there's a bus driver in Pittsburgh who decks out a city bus so that commuters feel like they're riding in Santa's sleigh. Sometimes bigger is better. That's the case with Keith Shaw, whom we met last year. He claims to have the most dazzling Christmas tree in the state of New Jersey. So there's over 47,000 on this tree. 47,000 life bulbs. More than on Rockefeller Center. That's right. 250,000 lights, 600 channels of animation. But this year, some upstart millennials from nearby East Brunswick hope to have him beat. Competing for $50,000 in prize money on the Great Christmas Light Fight, they did up their mom's New Jersey house. The results are Jersey-licious. Our friend Tony Christmas has been doing up his house longer than they've been alive. Grew up in his house. Uh started decorating with my dad, and then I took over. 31 years later, 60,000 lights. 60,000 lights. He's also a contestant on the Great Christmas Light Fight. Beautiful. For him, it's not about how many lights you've got. Even that flat roof up there on the second floor has lights on it. So my neighbors who live second floor behind me, they could see it. I'm pretty sure the space shuttle yeah. can see it. Tony Christmas is no Clark W. Griswold. No, if you look closely at his display, it's all about clean lines and careful placement. Notice the light bulbs? One yeah. up, one down, one up, one down. You're it's, familiar with the term OCD? Yes. Obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> Instead of uh, compulsive disorder, it's Christmas display. Obsessive Christmas <laughs> display syndrome. <laughs> Tony admits he's got a serious case. <laughs> Even his family tells him so. Yeah, they think I'm a little nuts, but it's a good nuts. Yeah. Even this, my candy cane tree here. Up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> six inches, six inches in between okay. each line. And his OCD oh, even extends to what's under his lawn. Some of the other homes we visited over the years have been rat's nests of cables and extension cords. Not Tony's. Have you seen any extension cords? I have not seen one. No. I was marveling about there's that. A, there's about 150 extension cords. They're buried under They're, the lawn? I, I bury them about three to four inches down. And once again, have to take them up at the end of the season. That approach won him points on the great Christmas light fight. Because as the viewer, you want to see just good design and lights put up that are interesting. So sometimes you get like, the Griswold of the neighborhood who just throws lights up everywhere, that's not always the best thing. Will he win the contest? You'll have to tune in to find out. Ultimately, it's not about prize money or bragging rights. It's about bringing people together and brightening the season. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Stamford, Connecticut. The Great Christmas Light Fight airs Monday on ABC.